There we go, and we are back once again. <laughs> wow, uh, this is the second round match. Uh, finally getting started. It took, uh, took quite a while to get these teams on the server and, uh, and ready to go. But here we have the knife round versus uh, Fragmasters versus Arrow. We're going to see if the, uh, you know, <laughs> which team is going to be able to be able to pick side. Of course, the map is uh, crashed right now. I do believe that it's going to be the, uh, the map for the match as well. G apparently is this quite a, a bit of a Jack the Ripper. Only Mac Mouse left for Aero right now. Uh, not looking too good. And he is um, running like a little girl, pretty much. But hey, <laughs> whatever works, right? Oh, whiffs it. Unfortunate for him, couldn't get it done. Oh, now, no, no, no so just, dang. yeah, oh, wow, this is, yeah, he gets to kill on G, but it can, can we really just, really? You want to win that bad, really? <laughs> Mac Mouse is, is still on the run. Oh, misses it. Oh, gets the kill there on Twist, but Styles. Actually, uh, gets the kill on him in turn. There we go. X actually changing his name to Punisher, so uh, that's what we're going to call him in the stream. And uh, Fragmaster's calling, calling attack first. I talk, okay. Uh, yeah, so what did they choose? Attack. Fragmaster's okay, so Fragmaster's is uh, apparently going to be the attacking side first, so... I think they want to make sure that they're uh, receiving the upper hand uh, even by taking the uh, slightly more dangerous part of attacking first. Normally you would uh, make sure that you're the defender, you call the shots, uh, you can call out what the standing will be to the halftime. But I just think uh, they're just going uh, to go up and start strong just to make it uh, win this match as fast as possible. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see uh, just what kind of numbers they can put on the board, isn't it, Anti? Yeah, I think normally, based on the names, they could just dismember them. Sure enough. So how about you start calling off this first round? Okay, so uh, Twist gets a nice uh, SMG shot while Niss is taking out Twist with the scope. And Punisher already in the uh, upper house, uh, securing the uh, bomb spot A, waiting for his mates to make the way up. And actually plant the bomb. Well, Preki is getting taken out by a nice deal shot by Trevor. While G is uh, now planting the bomb on the site. Receiving some cover fire. Trevor takes out Niz with the scope battle. While Styles is uh, trying to find his opponent by the uh, down chopper. Takes him out with a nice headshot. Where is the last one standing? Actually making his way up into the house. Decides to uh, pick up his opponent uh, right by the chopper, going for the window frag now. Uh, still trying to find his opponent. Gets taken out by Punisher, and he's gone. But that's, uh, that's it for round one, and uh, let's see Ryan, this uh, second round how it goes. Let's see Trevor off the spawn with that scope. Guess Flash doesn't see a thing as uh, Mac Mouse hits uh, it's a nade. Styles uh, trying to uh, take a look here at the, the uh, down chopper, but it's uh, apparently blocked by smoke. Nice well, stuff. nice scope shot from this headshot to G, and trying to find his next target here. Yeah, still. Uh, <laughs> Niz now looking for that shot, looking for the shot on Trevor or. Uh, or Styles, let's see if we can get it done. Let's uh, switch on over to Trevor. Let's uh, see, where is he? There he is, Trevor, with that bomb at, at the, uh, the down helicopter. Sorry about that, as we uh, experienced some technical difficulties, there's uh, s some terrible uh, reverb on the mics. We're trying to resolve it as, uh, as we can. Well, Trevor's uh, trying to find his way to the bomb spot, going to jump over the dash here. Finds his opponent, Versi uh, taking him out, cold blooded, while Styles is going to be the last man standing for Fragmasses. Receiving a lot of fire. Only has 20 seconds left, can he do it? No, he's not able to take his opponent down. Uh, Preki uh, is taking the round for Eero on the defensive side. And again, uh, Fragmaster Toxic uh, trying to uh, put up their A game and get into the house as uh, fast as possible. Yep, off the spawn, very aggressive. 
yeah, they're, they're really going to try to take uh, the opening shots while uh, Eero is just uh, playing very good defensive play, putting up very nice positions while Niz is uh, going up for his uh, sniper location, trying to pick up some frag masses outside. Well, the defensive of uh, Eero's uh, standing pretty stiff, no rotations. Uh, everyone got his uh, spot on site while Twiz is moving up with a bomb uh, to the B-bomb site uh, following his uh, comrade G who's apparently with the SMG on the prowl oh, yeah on the prowl probably going to jump out first while Twiz is walking up the roof maybe they're going to try to find Niz well, one by one the arrow members are uh, dying Magmas and Niz now the last two players standing Let's see. Switching so over three on three situation as G gets that plan down on the B site. Means the clock is now counting against zero. Be careful with a nice shot there, McMouse and O twist. Finishing it off in style. Headshot on the Niz. Beautifully done. Yeah, sorry, sorry about uh, any kind of mic issues you guys are hearing back home. We uh, have a bit of difficulties with some uh, the mics right now. We'll uh, do the best we can with what we have right now. Um, so yeah, two to one the score so far, and uh, Suse opening up this round with a nice kill on Styles with a Verzi. Oh my God, uh, quick round there. Um, let's see, four and three situation right now. Very aggressive play here by the uh, offensive side. Now we're gonna see if we can find some action. Two to two. See if we can find G. Where is G? G, there you are. There you go, my friend. We'll see what you can get done here. Sneaking around towards that B side. He's not going to spot anyone there. He's humping a container like a... Well, I don't know what. You know, what kind of dirty analogy you want to make there. Who's <laughs> Gasmo? That's beautiful. Let's see. We're going to switch on over to, 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 to Trevor. Trevor with that scope out. That's the bomb. Taking a shot. Oh, not... Uh, a bit of a miss there. Unfortunately, should have uh, gotten the hit there, but uh, missed it on the peak. See, right now they are sneaking up on the onto that arrow member, so they know he, he's there. He just uh, can't get the jump on him. Uh, so twist taking a lot of incoming fire there from that arrow member that they know is in the grocery shop. Looking towards that B site. Uh, tick tock, tick tock. The clock is uh, going down. 22 seconds and. Uh, Ragmasters is gonna have to get something done if they want to take this round. Still first situation. Oh, G with a 1 2 on Preki on Mouse. Beautifully done. Makes it back to, uh, evens it back up to a 2 on 2 in it. Trevor Explosive gets the opportunity planted. to put that bomb down. Shot going off. Mouse not connected because there's a lot of incoming fire right now. Needs to be very careful. We uh, switch it over to the uh, attacking side. Of the oh, G with a nice, nice uh, position there. Gets the kill on Susie as, uh, as he does get the kill on uh, on Trevor. So one on one situation does arise. Niz versus G right now. Going for the kill is G. Niz is uh, trying to go up there. There we go. Trying to get anything done but with that positional advantage. G played it out quite well. A three to one to score. Well, um, I, I think a very good round from Fragmasters. They were behind uh, for, for the longest time there, and they managed just, uh, to pull it out of the fire. Yeah, well, they just, uh, basically, they just played it calm, watched for their positions, uh, tried to find out, okay, where was the last opponent. And they pretty much took the best opportunity they could get while getting into the bomb site. You know that Verzi is playing very, very aggressive. He's uh, heading on out, he's heading out there, uh, just uh, suiciding himself, kamikaze style, getting a kill usually uh, for dying in uh, a blaze of glory. Niz now trying to get some shots done with that scope, but cannot connect on the, on the Fragmaster team. 2-1-3 situation right now. Let's see if you can find. we got G right here. G's in a bad position. Let's see Niz trying to get the shot off on G, but oh, a lot of incoming fire there. Needs to be very careful, but no, the crossfire from G. G shuts him down after all. 4-1 to one to score. And Fragmaster is, is uh, gaining a lot of momentum. They are running away with this match. Yeah, just, it basically just looks like an execution. <laughs> To me, at least, uh, I think the audience uh, seeing the same game as Fragmas is uh, keep pushing to the uh, A bomb side into the house. Uh, gets taken down by a good defensive by Eero. While three players left for Fragmas, last round it was enough. Only two players left while G is finding the uh, SMG of Mouse. 
Punisher gets taken out. Nice headshot by Mouse again. He's really turning the tide now in this round for his team. Five on one situations. Will Trevor be able to at least pick up one or two players? Yeah, none of these keep shooting like that. He's not very connecting uh, with the scope lately. At least not in the last two rounds. Desperately trying to find some uh, useful target for himself. Also needs to watch the clock. Receiving fire from the upper building and gets shot down by Niz with the scope. Yeah, 42 to score. I think uh, Fragmaster got a, a bit too greedy there, trying to, to just rush in there and uh, drop the Euro team as it uh, as it spawned, but <laughs> unable to. They get shot down pretty well, and uh, not a single man uh, dying on the Euro team that round. That's uh, quite encouraging, but no Styles there with an opening rate kill on Niz. But oh, takes a catches a nade from Mouse as well. Versi with a kill as well, making it a four on three situation right now for the Euro team in advantage of the Euro team, I should say. Bomb is down uh, towards the spawn. As you can see that G right now is trying to encroach on that B bomb site. This is going to find an arrow member there, so he needs to be very careful. He's trying to sneak in right now. Person around the corner just uh, ready to flank him. Second G pops up, but he's going to spot that. Oh, nice done. Gets the kill on the on, uh, arrow, Susie. There's another, another arrow player but just behind him, though. He needs to be very careful right now because uh, they, he's, he's telling the bomb to rotate over. So Fragmaster is going to commit to that B site. They need to get that top level cleared out. SG is about to pop up. He's going to spot him. Yeah, he's going to spot him, but uh, finds nothing but a hail of bullets to dare to meet him. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he, uh, very sneaky. Trevor now, last man standing as Perky gets a kill on Twist, so it's a one on three situation right now in favor of the Euro team. Euro team is doing something back, uh, you know, saying the frag message are not going to die that easy. Fakes a plan right now to make some noise that does trigger the Euro to, to move. Oh, Trevor had the positioning there. Could have gotten the kill on Mouse, but uh, well, we'll blame that on bad aim. And Eero picks up yet another round, bringing it back to 4 on 3. Yeah, this is the problem uh, Frank Master has right now. They played very, very good rounds uh, in the very beginning, uh, getting a lot of self confidence. And then they just stop playing good. Yeah, that happens a lot with uh, teams that are destined to win in a matchup. It's uh, it's more of a mentality problem. You, know, you, you stop playing as your A game because you know, hey, you know, nine out of ten games, uh, I'm gonna win this one anyway. So you, know, you feel like you don't have to try as hard anymore. And in the end, it ends up costing you a lot of rounds and sometimes even a match. Yeah, but if you keep playing like that, even a bad score would look bad uh, overall. Even if you're going to advance in, uh, from the group stage into the finals. Yeah, the thing is, is a win is a win, so, you know, in the end, uh, you know, as long as they, they come out on top, they, I'm sure they're, they're going to be satisfied um, with, with the result, at least, not so much with their play. Here, this round, we actually see a 4-on-3 situation right now, so you're going to switch it on up. We see Punisher with that bomb moving on up towards that B site. Jack Swords to crash helicopter, doesn't spot anyone, no one home, but there is an arrow member at that B site defending. They need to clear that out first. G peaks, and oh... G actually uh, triggers a crossfire from Susie and Punisher walks right into it. G uh, with the return kill to, to get it back and uh, to get a plant done probably. 25 seconds right now and uh, practically last man standing for Eero. Explosives. Let's see, taking some shots but uh, only tagging up Twist, not getting a kill there. This is a rough situation to play down with that bomb down. It's uh, you know, the clock ticking against you. You have to put pressure and they, you know they're coming for you. Gets the kill on Twist, needs two more. Uh, this tag up pretty bad, needs to recover. Manages to recover right now and sees the spam. Actually knows the position from, uh, I, I think, G. Taking some shots. Oh, yeah, it is G. Finally, uh, with the Halo Bullets mows him down. 5 to 3 to score. Yeah, he loves his roofs. Yeah, pretty much. And uh, Fragmasters is uh, saying, oh, hey, <laughs> we're not going to let you even up. Come on now. Yeah, they shouldn't. <laughs> Uh, basically, they just need to apply static pressure while very nice and they take into out uh, two Fragmaster members, finding themselves a very unconfident 5-on-3 uh, situation, uh, trying to walk up to their favorite bomb site while uh, Styles is getting a little bit tagged up while his <laughs> teammates get taken down by this. Now trying to find a, a possible way to get to the bomb site. 
as unharmed as even possible because they're on a four on two situation. Styles aiming for, waiting for Niz uh, to show up on that window. He knows he's going to come there. While Twist is just uh, making his way through the bomb site. Uh, mostly out of sight of the sniper to not risk any lucky shot that he might receive. While well, Eros uh, playing it safe, playing it slowly with one man on the bomb side, and this is covering from behind. So on call, he will be there. Just some um, random spray fire to maybe lure out his opponent. <laughs> gets taken out. While well, Styles picks one up from above, going to try to plant the bomb now. Going to throw up a uh, very long nade uh, to keep him covered. Explosives planted. And the both Eero nice members plan. trying to get into the bomb site right now. Styles finds himself on the roof, able to take out one. Now Preki versus Styles in the one-on-one -on -one situation with the bomb planted. This is not looking good for Preki. He will try his best to uh, take him out. He does actually, and he will be able to defuse the bomb. Very nice round play by Preki. Even if they were up uh, four on two, it <laughs> ended up in a very close one-on-one -on -one situation. Yeah, Preki, uh, they're playing it quite well. Knew he had a lot of time on that clock before he had to worry about that defuse. So faked it once, faked it twice, and then got the kill. Nicely done by him. See, off the spawn, we are going to uh, follow Punisher. Punisher trying to get something done in that broken building. Knows there's a, it's a vulnerable position, not very safe. But then peeks out into smoke. Is he going to spray it all? No. Actually gets tagged up pretty badly by a nade, even up that uh, on the top floor. Is he going to spot anyone over there? No. Right now, uh, no one home. So we're going to switch it on over. Switching over to Niz. Niz right now looking towards that broken helicopter. Actually looking towards the position of Punisher as we just saw him there. He spots him right now and there's the kill. Nice headshot. Proper scope kill by, uh, by Niz. Uh, yeah, that's not even a, not even a great shot. It was a, quite an easy shot, but he made it count. You know, the, the the great scope you want on your team is the one that makes all the easy shots. You know, he makes every average you know common shot. Sure, it's nice if you have a, have a guy that can pull off a miracle ability, a uh, miracle shot every so often. But if he's uh, gonna miss more shots than he's gonna hit, then uh, the, you know he doesn't have the doesn't have the the real um, what do you want to say? Uh, real mumbo jumbo, the real. Uh, Whatever it takes to get it done. <laughs> Here we see Trevor actually going for a plant right now onto that B site. Striking me, but last man standing. Oh my god. Fragmaster said, okay, we have enough of this. We, you know, it's enough. We're going to shut you guys down and we're going to show you guys how it's done. 6 to 4 to score as uh, Fragmaster makes a statement. Yeah, well, the, the pretty, uh, basically, they're coming back from a situation they didn't want to. They had to win a lot of uh, very close rounds. Uh, approach the bomb site very fastly as uh, Styles is trying to get up into the uh, A-bomb side house, is able to make it to the first floor without any bigger harm, gets it up to the roof actually, able to take down Frankie with a nice deagle shot, gets replied by Niz, nice scoping there, while uh, Saucy is getting taken down by Trevor, he's getting uh, warmed up with his uh, scope there, as Frezzy is trying to defend the bomb spot desperately against incoming frag masters, but has no chance against the surrounding. Yeah, th this seems pretty much the, the, the trend for this match so far. Whenever frag masters gets angry and decides from, hey, you know, we want to take some rounds, they do as they please. They walk all over the the Euro team when uh, when they're on fire. Then again, you know, every every so often, it seems like frag masters does not, you know, just not uh, playing their A game, and uh, let's see Euro takes uh, some matches and actually giving them uh, giving them in this somewhat. Right now we see a 404 situation as we're going to see if we can find some of those arrow members and uh, give them some camera time. There we go, Preki looking towards that A side. Not going to find any uh, any Frogmaster players there, so we're going to switch it over to Verzi. Verzi right now looking towards that crashed helicopter, trying to get something done. Uh, there is a Frogmaster member there, but he is afraid to peek out. A Frogmaster member is actually encroaching him. He's actually at the broken helicopter right now. He's going to come around the corner any second now. and. Oh, it is Styles, and it is a very easy kill there for Percy. Meanwhile, the one-two by Susie actually means that her arrow is uh, is, is going to take yet another round. And seven to five is the score right now. That makes uh, makes it at halftime. So we're going to switch on up these sides, and uh, only two rounds ahead of the the half. Is that something you would have predicted? And no, I, I think Frag is is uh, feeling very very unconfident right now because they were giving away rounds that they just uh, started too easily just uh, running up to a bomb side like okay we're just going to mow them down anyway 
And then they suddenly realized, okay, Eero is actually a team that we just can't play public against. You have no pub play allowed here at the, the <laughs> Antwerp Esports Festival. Um, I, I, yeah, I gotta say, it, it seems a, a bit of a nonchalance problem so far from Fragmasters, uh, but that does mean that when it comes down to it and when they get serious, they, uh, they, they lay down, they fill up some body bags pretty much. It's halftime, we are waiting for two players to land. Or yep, it's D now, we're ready up, we're just uh, waiting for Verzi. Maybe some good old tactic talk. There we go. And into the second half we do go. Let's see what we can follow. I wanna see if I can find Niz. There we go, Niz. Here's the aeroscope with that bomb. Let's see if we can get some shots off. Goes for the set nade first. Off it goes into, into the dark depths of nowhereness. Does not connect, unfortunately, for him. Into our broken house he goes and uh, looking for the shot right now. Looks twice and does spot one of the Fragmasters uh, players right there. Wasn't quick enough to connect on it though. Needs to, to hope that Fragmasters player does peek out again. Meanwhile, Preki with an opening kill on Punisher, making it a 4 on 5 situation. Still looking at Niz. Uh, de answering back on Mac Mouse. Niz right now not getting any luck, so we're gonna switch it over to Susie. Uh, who is actually looking at Verzi. Verzi has uh, tagged him really bad, has covered out. So he knows that uh, he has uh, plenty, plenty chance, pl plenty opportunity to just back on up and uh, play it safe. But Styles, oh, very aggressive there. Moving forward very far, but oh, Preki answering right back onto him. <laughs> Let's see, three on three situation right now. G, Trevor, and Twist versus Preki, Susie, and then Niz. Let's see. Looking at, Niz right, uh, looking at G right now, but G actually uh, gets, uh, get, gets jumped pretty much by Preki. Preki uh, taking no prisoners. A lot of incoming fire now for Preki, so uh, this is position is given away, of course, obviously, after that kill. Meanwhile, the clock is ticking down, 30 seconds to go. Attacking side is going to have to get something done. Let's see, Twist now, last man standing for the Fragmasters team, 2 on one situation. Can he get anything done in this situation? It's going to be very rough. Here's the plant go down, and he's, yeah, knows that Preki is up there. It can't do anything about it, though. Proper uh, team play there by, by Arrow, the one to uh, play it out quite well, and 6 to 7 to score. Yeah, now we're getting close to uh, a very bad situation. You want to be, <laughs> you don't want to be in if you're Fragmaster. Uh, four and four situation by the first uh, setup nades. So uh, just one player less for both teams. Uh, regular standard play uh, while Fragmaster is uh, trying to support the bomb spots as fast as possible. While Eero is trying to find a way up to the B bomb side into that house. Actually uh, able to take down Punisher while G is taking down Preki with some nice uh, shooting there. Verzi already at the bomb spot uh, is able to plant the bomb, uh, bomb without any problem. Uh, Trevor trying Explosive to find his target planted. there is not able to because yeah, what is shoot when there's nothing there? Tick tock that clock ticking on down. Let's see if we can actually uh, yeah. Trevor now last man standing for Fragmaster is gonna have to find a target somewhere. But no, can I get it done? Mech Mouse actually gets a jump on him. Trevor had to be too aggressive with that scope. Couldn't get it done. And we are tied right now. 7-7. Seven, seven. Uh, Fragmasters. Uh, time to wake up and get serious, guys. Let's see. Styles out that spawn. We're showing out the set nade. And uh, going towards that. He's only while flying firing into that smoke. Really can't see much of anything. Yeah, blind firing is at least better than uh, not doing anything at all. Uh, true enough, you know, when you see a lot of bullets coming at you, chances are you, know, you can uh, launch them back at them and then uh, connect on someone. But no, not the case this time. Trevor even uh, you know, was blind firing into that smoke. Apparently uh, qu quite desperate to connect with that scope. Cannot get it done, sadly, unfortunately for him, uh, the case. G right now, uh, finally opening up on Verzi. It was a very slow round to start off with, but Mechma is answering right back on Trevor. That means that scope for Fragmaster is, uh, is, is down very early. Not a position you want to be in, uh, especially in the last situations. Okay, Trevor was not actually getting those, uh, oh my god, you have two kills, but it's still one player less. It's one gun less that's able to shoot somewhere, or yeah. at least spot someone. Uh, that's, that's a very, very... Um, yeah, very good observation, I should say. Let's see, 4 on 2 situation right now. Preki and Niz need to get something done for the Euro team. Fragmaster is finally uh, amping it up, upping the speed and uh, saying, hey, if you want to play, 
And, you know, you gotta play at our speed, you gotta play at our level. Can you do it? Well, let's, uh, let's see. No, right now, not so much. G with the kill, and, uh, Preki answering right back on the Punisher, but no. Yeah, finally, uh... Only Fragmasters uh, is confident they can at least retain a, a lead once again, you know, 8 to 7. I, I still, I, I gotta say, I'm a bit surprised by Fragmasters' play, you know, they, they should be playing a lot more dominant than they are, and uh, so far not happening for them. Yeah, I think they're, I don't know, maybe it's the flight, the hotel room, but they're not playing like they used to be. Regularly they were playing uh, either very, very slowly, very calm, nice or very, very fast. Well, Styles is just mowing down the middle house and every hero member that's coming close to him gets the third one, actually. Complete uh, hero round. Uh, no, sorry. Complete Styles round. Uh, just keeping a spot, shooting everything you can Explosives see. Planted. While they were actually able to plant the bomb in his house, <laughs> uh, he's now going to try to clean that up with his uh, SMG broom. Let's see if uh, Styles can clean house right here. Ooh, gets one more. First he uh, goes down. Is that three kills or four kills for, uh, for him so far? I think three kills. It means just Niz is left standing, but Trevor collects the kill on him, so no ace for Styles regardless. Easy to fuse though, and she'd be yet another round for Fragmaster. Explosives diffused. And that's more like what we're used to seeing. You know, that's, that's the 9 to 7, you know, Fragmaster's uh, saying, hey, come on now, guys. Team 11 type is uh, late into the stage. Uh, it's is late into the game. Yeah, maybe they're getting their flow running right now. Yeah, the momentum is swinging their way. And let's see, off the, sp uh, off the spawn, we are going to follow GG right now. Looking towards uh, uh, doing defensive jumping towards that top building. Looking towards Crash Helicopter, trying to get anything done there. Cannot spot any Aero members, though. Aero, let's see what they're set up. Aero is actually... Uh, oh, they're focusing heavy on that A side. They, uh, they definitely uh, plan to, to commit to that. Right now, Magmouse uh, goes on down with that bomb. He's the bomb is in a very, very bad position. It's it's a very tough position for the Arrow members to actually pick it up with, with uh, the Fragmasters uh, team covering it quite well. So we're gonna switch it on over to two, as we can see Punisher. Punisher taking a lot of incoming fire at that A side, and again, they know that bomb is down there somewhere. Bomb is about to be picked up. Let's see, it is Niz. Niz manages to pick up that bomb. Looking towards that scope, uh, looking towards that ace building with that scope, and then uh, running back saying, okay, you know, th there's two, there's one too many fragmasters uh, in that area, so I'm gonna back on out and make a run for it. Well, this is a lot of incoming fire for Niz. Niz decides, okay, I'm just gonna rotate back through spawn, see if I can uh, g get a shot off at that A side, and then uh, just go for the B side plant. Oh, spots a fragmaster, oh, spots Trevor, and Trevor with the one, two, first the deagle, and then uh, the scope. Nice kills there, and uh, twist right now. Oh, wow, Tris, the twist was a very nice kill, and Trevor with the third kill that round to finish it off. Uh, it seems like Trevor is, is uh, especially Trevor, is finally picking up his game and is uh, is connecting a lot more than he was before. Ten to seven the score. Yeah, I think someone poked him, <laughs> so he did wake up. Uh, this is more we used to see Frank Masters play like uh, very s slow, steady, team play oriented uh, play style. Good covering. Well, Hero is just basing their attacks too hardly onto the A spot, so Fragmas is pretty much saying, okay, we know we got that spot, especially uh, with Styles down there, aiming for the uh, runway. There's no glimpse. Ah, oh, yeah, no kill get for through. Styles there. <laughs> he's, he's picked up so many kills just looking down that hallway. Yeah, because uh, Eero is strangely, n they're playing pretty calm, they're rotating a lot, they're retrieving the bomb, going back to another side, but still not able to actually get off the idea to go to, e, uh, go to A first. Stout's receiving some damage there by Susie, not able to take him down, just a little tag up play, approaching the uh, B bomb side. Just two... Oh, actually, Niz is planting at the A-bomb site while his teammate was distracting the opponents. Trevor now trying to get a look at his uh, opponent's scope. Nice jump outside. Niz finds himself an SMG, not able to take Trevor down. He just mows him down with his deagle. We'll get to the uh, to the bomb site, uh, pull through the, uh, the defuse. Yep. 
Um, Explosives diffused. I, I gotta say, it's exactly like you called it. Euro is just focusing too much on the A side, and Fragmaster, the Fragmaster team knows it. They are confident that as long as they keep that A side uh, down, they, they don't have any problem. So once again, Susie, Susie, <laughs> with that uh, with that bomb, that ain't saying that name. Standing your way through the smoke right now, gets a kill, gets a blind kill on Styles into the smoke, uh, as bullets go, and a dead body pops on out. Punisher actually getting a kill on the back for, for the Fragmaster team, not the first, even it back up to a 4 on 4 situation right now. Twist turning it around and uh, G following it, and Niz they're getting a kill back on, uh, on G. So 2 to 3 to, uh, the, yeah, two to three the round so far. Let's see if uh, Peter's team can pull ahead right now. We find, there, find, I find Niz. Let's look at Niz. He's, he's got that scope out of shoot. You know, this is uh, this is the moment you want to get some meaningful action. And you know, his teammate's taking a lot of incoming fire, but Trevor there with a kill on Niz, and that's gonna mean that uh, there's just one more Euro member standing. Yeah, against the scope and the SMG, that's not really the position you it's want a, to be in. It's a terrible position to play from. And though, though that smoke is nice, of course, covering, but it means he gave away his position completely. I mean, the Fragmaster's team knows exactly where to go, and there we go. Trevor with a very easy kill because that plan was not going to happen. And it means that we are going to have a total of five match points for the Fragmaster team. You know, finally uh, upping their game and then now running away with this. Yeah, I think they should actually now just change it up completely, go for the B-bomb side straight off, and not commit uh, basically suicide in that hallway at the uh, A-house. Esther again approaching the A house. <laughs> yeah, they, they love that A house. Like, the, I think there, there's a lot of cookies or something in that A house. There, there's got to be something there, like bees to honey. Yeah, they're receiving already a lot of fire. Already four and four situation as MacMouse is going crazy, taking out two frag masses, uh, putting up the favor for his team. Now four and two situation as Susie has finally found Punisher. You know what, I, I kind of expect that this happen. I kind of expect Fragmasters to, to, to actually lose this round, but Twist says no, you don't. Because, you know, this, this is exactly the situation where Fragmasters, are, Master, you know, the team is like, uh, you know, we've got this, no problem, and then they, they start slacking. So, it's uh, it not surprise me if they end up losing this round. And we see Styles getting tagged up pretty badly, but uh, manages to survive for now. McMahon trying to get a shot off, but that is a really tough position to play for him. Knows that uh, the, the Fragmaster player can pop out and take a shot at any second, so uh, it's a very hard position to play from. Needs to be very careful. Verzi with the kill, they're on twist. And he styles last man standing for the Fragmaster team, spamming down towards uh, from, from that A building. Actually jumping down, down, trying to get something done there. 15 seconds, 14 seconds. Tick tock goes that clock, but B is uh, about to get planted, I do think. Explosive yeah, Verzi with that plan onto, onto B, so we are going <laughs> to switch it back to Styles. See if we can get anything done in this 2 1 situation one time. Gets to go on Verzi. That pops down to smoke. Is he gonna go for the actually defuse? That is not a fake. A oh, we get stacked up by Mac Mouse. That last shot, that last bullet did it. You know, if uh, if Mac Mouse hadn't connected with the last bullet, he probably would have assumed it was a fake, and uh, Styles would have gotten defused on. Very nice trick play by Styles, but was not gonna happen. You know, Euro was not gonna let it happen. Euro does take the round, as uh, as I kind of predicted. Yep. Even if they're the underdog in this match uh, from start to finish. Uh, they're putting up a real good game against Fragmasters. Normally, um, as far as I know, they're playing in the uh, Benelux Pro Series with their team. But there's uh, ages between uh, the uh, Benelux Call of Duty scene and a team like Fragmasters. Yeah, this is a, a huge difference in what kind of player, you know, what kind of level of player you're talking. Right now we see Niz opening up to G, even it back up to a 4 on 4 situation right here. Punisher looking towards uh, look to, looking towards that crash helicopter, just, uh, just hanging out in that A building. He knows that uh, th that's the place to be if you want to pick up some kills. And there is an Aero member about to pop out. No, Punisher actually spots him, but already on his way out. Over on his way up that ladder, and there's a lot of spam to him from it. Oh, nice kill. Punisher staying cool under pressure. A lot of spam incoming, but he does get that kill on MacMaz, making it happen for himself. Styles now uh, with the kill on this means there's just two more Aero members uh, left standing, and I think this might just be it. Verzi right now. Oh, Verzi goes down to Trevor and Susie right now. Gets a, gets a kill on Punisher. Needs to get at least three more, and uh, oh, the, the clock is, is ticking in his favor, but no, Styles shuts him down. It, yeah. 
Stiles shuts them down properly, and that is, uh, as expected, a win for the Fragmaster team, 13 to 8. And uh, we're going to see about that next round match for you guys uh, as soon as possible. We'll tune you guys out to some, uh, some music. This is Martijn Mumbles on the mic, joined here today by Simon Anty for H2K TV.